Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week 8 assignment of the course blockchain and its applications. So guys, for the past few years, we have been giving these solutions for various NPTEL courses. So for this week also, I am giving the solutions for blockchain and its applications course guys. So I tried my best to give you the most probable solutions. If you feel there should be any changes to be made this to, to this solution, you can please give your opinion in the comment section guys. So if there is any update, I will update the comment section. So before final submission, once again, check the comment section for any updates available guys. So please watch the video till the end without skipping and do watch full video guys. Then only you can able to understand the changes if I make anything in between the video and definitely subscribe our channel, like this video and please share that with your friends and classmates guys. So let's see the first question. Which of the following is an open scalable consensus algorithm having low transaction throughput? So for first question, the answer is option A guys, proof of work, proof of work. So mark option A guys, option A. Next moving on to the second question. Second one, running a chain code in hyperledger fabric internally involves the following steps even if all the steps are not explicitly done by the user in the latest versions. So first it should be option three, I mean uh, the third one should be the first one and the fifth one should be the second one. So it is option D guys, 35241. So this is the order. So the answer is fourth, uh, fourth option guys. So mark option D as correct answer for second question. And moving on to the third one. Third question. So before getting into this question, I want to make a small announcement guys. So for the question, so the course blockchain and its applications we have prepared the exam preparation mcqs guys these are combination of previous year mcqs as well as, well as our home prepared questions guys so hand prepared questions so it's a mixture guys so here we are providing a huge number of 300 mcqs guys 300 MCQs which are almost equal to three years of NPTEL questions. So no other channel is providing guys only our channel is giving you this many number of MCQs in a Google Drive PDF link guys. So for one person it is just 300 rupees guys. Last time we have given for 500 rupees but from for this year we have reduced the price in order to reduce the burden on students we have decreased the price guys so for one person it is just 300 rupees only guys and for two to five persons if you take it combinedly in a bulk you'll get it for 500 only guys so for two to five persons combinedly it will be 500 guys so team up with your friends and classmates who are doing the same course and reduce the individual price among yourself guys so this is the mail id if you want to purchase so please mail me guys only if you want to purchase for any other doubts, you can ask me in the comment section itself. So this is the mail ID. You can mail me guys if you want to purchase. So already many students have taken our pack and got benefited. And for this season also, many students have started taking the pack guys and they are preparing from now itself. So take the take our pack as fast as possible and prepare from now itself guys because you can get more time at the end to revise the questions and also you can prepare for other subjects as well. So take it now itself and prepare from now itself guys. So for one person it is 300 rupees and for two to five persons combinedly it is 500 rupees guys. And there is second pack which is a YouTube membership sample pack guys. Here you will get only 100 plus MCQs in, but only in the video format. So this is a YouTube video. These are part of YouTube videos guys. So for one person it is 89 rupees and for only for one month guys. If you want to purchase this YouTube membership pack just go to our channel page. So our channel beside the subscribe button there is join button. So click on this join button guys. And a window will, up, will appear like this. So select the second one, 89 per month pack and click on join and make payment guys. That's it. You'll become member of our channel and you can get access to all of our exam preparation videos guys. The members only videos. So we have already prepared for blockchain course also guys. So here you can see blockchain and its application part one uploaded and also part two uploaded guys. So you'll get all these videos for the same one, 89 rupees guys. No extra charge needed. 
so youtube membership 100 plus mcqs videos guys for one person it is 89 available in video format only for one month guys but my suggestion is it's better to take this 300 mcq spec because you are getting more number of mcqs which covers almost all weeks of syllabus guys so for one person it is 300 and for two to five person it is just 500 rupees guys so it is completely based on nptl syllabus guys and it is very much help you in the preparation for the final exam guys so that's it guys now let's get back to the solutions so third question Hyperledger fabric only allows proof of work consensus to be plugged in to ensure a high degree of trustworthiness. True or false? So it is option B false, guys. So Hyperledger fabrics allows any type of consensus, not only proof of work. So option B is the correct option for third question. Now, fourth question. Fourth one, traditional methods for centralized digital identity management do not, do not have which of the following characteristics. So for fourth question, I think the probable answer is option C guys. Restricting components of identity to be revealed to different verifiers is difficult. So option C could be the probable answer guys. So if you... If you find any solution to be changed, please give your opinion in the comment section, guys. So these are completely my probable solutions. I tried my best to give you the most accurate solutions, guys. Next, fifth question. Fifth one. Which of the following statement is, a, is false regarding PBFT and POW? So for fifth question, there are two probable solutions, guys. The first one is option C. PBFT can be generally preferred to be executed for both public and private blockchain networks. And the other one is option D. POW can be executed over a private blockchain network but cannot be executed over a, over a public blockchain network. So these two are the probable solutions for fifth question. So option C and option D guys. Next, sixth question. Sixth one. Which of the following is true for proof of work protocol? So for sixth question, all these three are the probable solutions guys. That means option D, all of the above is the correct option. So mark option D. Moving on to the seventh one. The seventh question. PBFT has higher transaction throughput than POW. Is that true or false? It is absolutely true, guys. So mark option B as correct answer for seventh question. Next, eighth one. Which of the below statements is true? So for eighth question, the answer is option c guys bft protocols ensure total ordering of transactions so mark option c as correct answer for eighth question next moving on to the ninth one ninth question bft protocol ensures finality in general so is that true or false it is also true guys BFT protocol ensures finality in general. So option B. And moving on to the final question of the assignment, that is 10th question, guys. So before getting into this solution, I want to once again make you remember, guys. So for the course blockchain and its applications, we have prepared the exam preparation MCQs, guys. So you'll get a huge number of here, 300 MCQs, guys, which is almost equal to three years of NPTEL questions, right? So for one person, it is 300 rupees only, guys. And for two to five persons, combinedly, it is 500 rupees, guys. So this is the email ID you have to mail me if you want to purchase this. So now let's get back to the last solution. So 10th one, which of the following is true for scalable witness cosigning protocol? So for 10th question, there are two probable solutions. So the first one is option A, protect authorities and their clients from undetected misuse. And the other one is, Option B, ensuring that 
every authoritative statement is validated so these two are the probable solutions for 10th question so friends these are the solutions for week 8 assignment of blockchain and its applications course so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and do share that with your friends and classmates in order to help them and do purchase this 300 mcqs pdf package it will be very much helpful for you in the preparation for the final exam so that's it guys for this video so keep supporting us like this so until the next video goodbye thank you